Uh oh. Um. Were the were the voting machines in Mesa County from 1992? The topic of computerized voting can be complex, but not computized. Hold on. The topic of computerized voting can be complex, but not to worry. My name is Hal. Hey, fuck you. <laughs> My name is Hal. All right. This is getting personal now. You rank sons of bitches. Uh, how dare you? <laughs> All right, I'm suing now. I am now. That's it. I'm, they're blaming me. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm suing Mike Pillow. He's using my name on purpose. Arthur C. Clarke's not alive to do it. So, what the ever loving fuck? First of all, that's not even the Hal voice. You cheap sons of bitches. Dark Hal. That's right. <laughs> Fuck me. What? <laughs> the topic of computerized voting can be complex, but not to worry. My name is Hal. My pronouns are it and that. I'll be your automated guide today. Oh, I see. So it's a it's a woke AI. Um, it is it is true. My pronouns are it and that. Like as in touch it with that. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> my pronouns get the fuck out of here explaining certain topics and information <laughs> please sit back relax and leave the explaining to me that's basically my show at this point i should just i should just steal this just play it <laughs> shit first off a little trip back in time <laughs> Americans have a heritage of the vote no other nation on earth can match because in the modern world we were the first to build a working system of government on the foundation of the vote. In the very first U.S. election, machines were not allowed to vote. They used paper ballots instead. They used paper ballots instead, Dave. It can all be attributable to human error. It wasn't until 1892 that machines that you could vote without a hat. Teams were able to cast their first ballot when the first machine was used in New York. By, by voter McFatbody. <laughs> he was electrocuted and died, but that did not slow down the rest of the fat body family. <laughs> Sadly, machine voting didn't become popular until the 1910s and 1920s. Busy people. Sadly, until the 1910s. Motherfucker, most machines did become popular until the 1910s. So often, by habit, make check marks on the ballot in states where X's are required. They might as well have stayed home. Commissioner Miller told me about the ease and speed and economy of voting with machines over paper ballots. He records and counts his own vote by returning the operating handle to the left. He does not hand any papers to any human beings. Despite this leap into the future, for some strange reason, people still wanted to vote on paper. Some strange reason? Motherfucker, there was one phone in most towns back then. So my friend Chad came up with a plan to use both. Chad? I do not have any friends named Chad for the record. No, I, that's not true. I have a dear friend named Chad. I take it back. He's an artist. I wouldn't put him in charge of elections. Slip 19... 80s technology ought to mean a very high rate of reliability. Listen to computer whiz Howard J. Strauss of Princeton. If somebody set out to alter the outcome of an election. It's not only possible, but it's rather easy. This system has virtually no protection. It's not a house with a... 
Yeah, dude, no computers had protection back then. Are you out of your fucking mind? But they'd have to come in physically and do it. They were, at this point, they were literally talking about spies materially throwing elections. You'd need a fucking Russian for every voting booth. Doors without locks. It's a house without doors. Could you put the fix in in a national election? Realistically, could it be done? Yeah, get, get, get me employed by the uh, company that uh, writes this program. In that, in that case, you only, only need to bribe one person. One person writing the software. You'd have access to a third of the votes. Yeah, but they didn't have paper backups for them at the time. So if you did that and all of a sudden magically that nothing matches what's physically there, like you can look at what you made. We're talking about punch cards for fuck's sake. In the country. Is that enough to throw the election? In 1988, Ronnie Duggar. 1988. Motherfucker. What are the chances you read this article on your smartphone? Reported in the New Yorker. Willis Ware, a Rand Corporation computer specialist, warned there is probably a Chernobyl or a Three Mile Island waiting to happen in some election. Uh huh. You don't say. Computers can, in 1980, can be ordered to transfer votes from one candidate to another. Mm -hmm. Wait, okay. To add votes to a candidate's total and determine an outcome in accordance with a specified percent. Um, Did they show the rest of that page? All the computer experts I have spoken with agreed no computer program can be made completely secure against fraud. Can you swap out a box of pre printed ballots back then with the Tops changed on them. the, uh, you know, the, the votes changed on them. Of course. And regard the theft of the presidency by computer as entirely possible. Hey. So, uh, so George, uh, H.W. Bush, Clinton and George Bush weren't elected, uh, legally. Gotcha. But not machines were obviously the problem. So we threw Chad under the bus. Most people thought Chad was the name of a person, not the name of a clingy rectangle that refuses to let go of a punch card ballot. Soon those punch card ballot machines will sit forever silent because in two years, federal funding will push this out of the ballot box. Because of the problem paper caused, the Help America Vote Act was signed into law, providing shiny modern computers to voters across the country. Improve accessibility and technology of voting places, $3 billion. Many U.S. states decided to abandon paper systems and instead use touchscreen computer voting machines. Right. And what happened between then and now? Paper came back. You're right. Good. You're very well. Very Finally, well. the digital age of voting where nothing could go wrong. Oh, sorry. Again, if you push the one below that, I mean, these are about screens not being calibrated. Election workers are scrambling all over the country trying to deal with an avalanche of last minute problems with e-voting machines. With this information just pouring in, it's difficult to understand how the electorate can feel any sense of confidence in our upcoming election. I would just like to know what you can say to reassure us that this election will not be rigged or stolen. Well, well, I tell you what, it, it helps in Ohio that we got uh, Democrats in charge of the machines. <laughs> with, with, with all this, John, it, it seems clear. That because uh, the concern was at that time that Republicans were in power nationally and would steal it. 